The new update of Fortnite is crazy. They have added so many new secrets that we got to explore them all, especially discussing the Bugatti. That's right. But on top of that, we're going to be covering a ton of fun glitches that were also recently discovered that especially have to do with these vaults in the most wanted update. But speaking of which, guys, if you think it'd be awesome to hop onto Fortnite today and see that you unlocked this skin, quick, leave a like on the video and also make sure to subscribe. Now, hopping on into it with the first thing I want to show you guys before we get into this stuff to do with the Bugatti, as you guys know, they recently added back vaults onto the map. And that got me thinking, can we glitch into the vaults without a key card? So I'm thinking our best way to try and do this is to use a glitch that worked last chapter, and that involves finding a wolf or a boar, which what are the chances I just find one easily? Probably pretty low, right? However, we do also need to grab some materials, so I'll break down this rock so we can get some of those. Oh, nice. I found a chicken. Don't think that's gonna help. Oh, wait a second. I think I heard, I think I heard a wolf. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a wolf and a boar. Come here, gotta tame you. Yes. Oh, geez. We're 900 meters away from the vault and we're here. Okay, so we gotta try and sneak past all these guards just quick. None of them. Oh, there's literally a dude right here. Wait a second. They don't even notice us. What? Wait, is that because we're on the wolf? He doesn't see us? Either way, let's box ourselves in quick. Come on. The way this glitch works, we gotta build. Oh no, wait. Well, that first glitch did not work whatsoever. The previous glitch requires us to put a build right here, but it won't even let us. However, did we discover that the bosses won't attack you unless you attack them? I mean, it can literally block this dude and he's not attacking us. That's so weird. Okay, well, let's try out a second glitch here. If we do attack this dude, we need to take his key card, which is easier said than done. There are so many just NPCs around here. Take out that guy. Oh my gosh, we're almost done for. Okay, and now that we've fought them, they definitely do notice us. So maybe it's if you've not fired a bullet at the start of a match and he's not even getting hit by any of these grenades. He's dodging them. There we go. There's one and just a few more shots. Okay, we got him. Perfect. Eliminated him and picked up the key card. And the second glitch here is if we can get behind this door so quickly as it's opening, we need to run and then get behind it just like that. And oh my gosh, yeah, it still works. <laughs> we're behind the door. Oh, we can even like see through it. Can we fire through it? No, you cannot. <laughs> well, wait, maybe? No, I don't think so. But yeah, we're glitched behind the vault door. So that one still works. And I am like completely stuck here. Oh, okay. Wait, I got stuck up in a higher spot now and I am completely wedged here. <laughs> I literally can't move. Okay. Maybe not the best plan. But moving on here, guys, the new event, the new most wanted event has brought up a lot of questions about the story. Like for example, Example, who is this character right here? The main character of the event, you can even unlock the skin. It's called Gold Blooded Ace. Who is underneath this mask? Now, some people have actually been theorizing that it's Dr. Sloan, considering that they sort of have kind of similar clothing. They both wear a tie, a dress shirt, and have the sleeves folded upwards. However, if we hop into game, we can actually take a look underneath this mask. And actually, there's a bonus secret here on the starting island. If we look up into the sky, yeah, all the way over there above that floating bit of rocks there are seven stars that are quite a bit different than any of the other stars in the sky like they definitely mean something right so what do they mean well inside of the history of fortnite the number seven has had one specific meaning and that is literally the seven <laughs> the characters the foundation the visitor all of those guys they are a part of the seven so are those stars actually referencing them because remember every single one of them is gone in like a different dimension this season. But either way, in order to see if this character is Dr. Sloan, we're going to need to go down to Brutal Bastion. And while we're heading down there, the skin challenge on last video was Princess Leia. And here's a bunch of people that got that right. This time around, comment the name of this skin. And I'll leave hearts on a ton of the ones that get that right. Because as you probably know, the boss that spawns down here is in fact the gold-blooded ace. So all we got to do is stand near here. And then if we back out and go into the replay, we can then use the camera to get a closer look underneath the mask and see if it is actually Dr. Sloan. So let's see here. Um, okay. Nope. Nothing shows up. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of interesting. We can see the back of the character's head and that the mask does go all the way around with straps on the back. But again, we don't know exactly who is actually under here yet. Now guys, apparently there's a way to get like 20 levels in one single match. And 
something right after this will hop into the Bugatti stuff. Yeah, it's like a sort of glitch. And the reason I say sort of is because it requires the Axion Sentinel pack that they added recently. Now, obviously this gets you levels. That's no mystery. But I heard that there's currently a glitch where it will double the levels that you get per token. But so you know what? Let's give it a try here. I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. And there we go. Got the skin. It's uh, it's a decent skin. I'll also go ahead and equip it. Why not? But I mainly want to see if this glitch actually works. So it looks like we need to go down to this area first. Okay, so let's keep track of this. I'm currently level 123, as it says in the top right. And if we go through here, do I need... Oh, I can just run through it. All right. Well, that obviously got us one level. So we leveled up. But if we check back like this, it says we're at level 124. So that was only one level. Hold on. Let me just keep going and like grabbing these because we got to test this out. All right. So, whoa, <laughs> that backflip was insane. That was like the fastest backflip ever. Either way, that's three rings. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to make this jump. No, dude. What? How did my bike get stuck up there? I literally can't reach it. Oh my gosh. What are the chances of that? And then driving through the cuddle team leader head. That is our fourth. So it says we're at level 127. We'll still have to check like actually when we leave the match. But either way, we're like racking these up. That's the fifth. And then here's the sixth one. We got one more to go. Final one of this set jumping off and off of the umbrella. Come on. Oh, either way, we got all seven of them. So let's go ahead and return to the lobby and see if this actually worked. All right, well, we unlocked a back bling. That's pretty cool. And whoa, oh my gosh, it did work. We're somehow at level 137. Bro, I was at 123. So it did double the levels we got. We literally just leveled up 14 times in the span of a couple minutes. Does that work for the second stage as well? We gotta try it. Now, as we're heading to the next one here, I will say that it's probably not the best idea to go out buying this pack, counting on this glitch still being unpatched because I'm guessing that they're going to patch it pretty soon. But either way, let's hop on the bike and grab the first token. Although I have no idea where the next one is. I mean, it's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Oh, there it is. Um, okay. We gotta go into the uh, sliding tunnel. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait. The next one's behind us. We gotta turn around. There we go. That's three. And then we got four on top of this hill. All right, sweet. I like how the next one is just like barely even that far away. Oh my gosh. The next one's even closer. Oh, hold on. Missed it. There we go. Six and seven for the final part of that set. And there's just some... Okay, this is weird. Wait, what is that? Is that a player? No, it's an NPC. They're glitching. Why are they like sliding around everywhere? And why is this NPC sitting on top of the table? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are they sliding like that? That's so funny. <laughs> They're just sliding away on their chair. Okay, but let's back out. Cool, we unlocked a new wrap. But checking our levels. Yes, we did get another 14 levels. So that was 28 levels in two matches. That is wild. We could have done it all in the same match too. But then guys, we got to talk about the Bugatti vehicle because as you may know, season two is right around the corner. It actually got pushed up a couple of days to around March 8th. That's when they say the current season ends. So it may start on March 9th. But considering that this season, we got the new dirt bike vehicle. It seems that we could get a new collab with the Bugatti next season. Now, the reason I say this is because fairly recently, Epic Games has been doing a lot of collaborations with their other games. Game Rocket League. I mean, they literally added a Rocket League car into the game. It's pretty clear to say that these two games are quite connected. Not only that, they've added a ton of cosmetics into the game from Rocket League itself and vice versa. And as you may remember, the previous collab vehicle that we had way back in chapter two was the Ferrari. And what you guessed it, Rocket League later added that Ferrari into their game. The same exact model and everything. They just ported it over from one game to the other. Now that gets me thinking because recently in Rocket League, they added another collab vehicle, and it was the Bugatti. Specifically, the Cento Dieci? Dieci? Either way, it was an official Bugatti collab that made the car fully drivable. Now, considering all of the crossovers they've done, it seems like they could be bringing this over to Fortnite and making it a drivable car in the game. I mean, it's about time that we got another crossover vehicle, since it has been so long from the Ferrari. And you gotta admit, a Bugatti would look incredible. Now, if we hop back onto the map here, guys, there's apparently a new secret room that was just recently discovered and that is over at the citadel now i believe this secret room is actually right behind this well one of these walls right here behind this bounty board so let's just grab a bit of materials and then break down this wall wait is it right up here i'm kind of confused it's behind one of these oh here it is okay so it is behind the bounty board we just build up like this um it's a little tough okay there we go we got it and then we can hop down onto the other side and be inside of this 
really odd secret hiding spot. So, I mean, if you're trying to get arena points, nobody is ever going to find you in here. You could even maybe like cover it up, but then it puts a build outside. So I don't know if that's really helpful, but even standing up here is pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. And also check out my previous videos here, like going over an attack on Titan collab. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.